it's me again and I want to explain a few things about the Dwarf 3 and if you already got your Dwarf 3 congratulations I'm sure you love it but you may encounter some problems here and there as nothing is perfect I mean it works really good but occasionally uh, I had a few technical problems and one of them is regarding very bright objects like M45, the Seven Sisters. I also had some problems uh, photographing the Pelican Nebula the other day. I noticed some problems on the stars that they look uh, very long. Well, this is the uh, uh, first problem that I noticed photographing the Pleiades. And this is the exact moment when it happened. As you can see, I was having a, a normal imaging session and this is uh, showing right now the second image stacked and suddenly we'll start seeing the star trails and definitely will affect the final result on the stack image. And what are the possible reasons uh, for this? Well, I can think on a few. <laughs> the first reason that came to my mind was um, poor tracking or polar alignment. But Dwarf 3 told me it was a perfect alignment. So... I decided to continue the imaging session using the preset 30, 60, 30 uh, exposure time, considering that it's a very bright object and uh, using traditional cameras and mounts, sometimes uh, it's, the solution is to lower the exposure time. So solution number one, try to start the imaging session again and lower the exposure time. If you were doing one minute, lower it to 30 seconds. Um, there is uh, an obstruction on the view, which is what I believe happened uh, my second time. Especially doing the uh, Pleiades, I have uh, a little part of a tree. Oh, I may have to move the telescope a little bit and it's just it's literally nothing. I can see it right now. It's that, that branch. We need to trim that branch. I have a good shot of it and I'm just going to move the telescope real quick. That's what I'm going to do. I can't tell this 100%, but I decided to start another session. I have to start all over again from the polar alignment, calibration, and then the problem was solved. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I take that. So if you are going to edit your images that you're not going to use the stack image, then you don't need to <laughs> probably end your imaging session in the middle of the night to try to solve this problem because then what it's going to happen, you are going to use the FITS format images and then you can go into a program like Photoshop, Lightroom, or I use the uh, uh, Blink feature for uh, pics inside. Uh, and then you just go and examine each of one of the images as I am going to show right now. And immediately you are going to see which are the images that have that star trails that are long enough to affect images. And normally those images, I delete them. It's better not to use them. Even if you have cosmetic correction uh, during the calibration pro process on the editing software, it's just better to get rid of them because they will affect. And last but not least, maybe it is an app problem. Uh, as I am recording this video today, November 1st, uh, Dwarf Lab released another upgrade for Dwarf 3 telescopes and Dwarf 2 telescopes because it's the same app. They announced that, you know, bugs have been fixed. So maybe it's a bug. <laughs> Be sure that you have the latest app and restart your device again, the, the telescope, and also the one that the device that you use for it, if it's your cell phone or a tablet, and just give it a try again and see what happens. 
You can also send a log to Dwarf Lab, and I am going to show real quick uh, some screenshots on how you can do that. They're going to let you know what the problem is, and it may be one of the reasons that I said it. It may be that uh, they need to do an upgrade or fix some bugs in the in the app. So that is the last resort. You can always contact them, and that and this way they can see what the problem was. Well, I hope this helps you in the near future If you, once you get your Dwarf 3. And if you have it and um, you're experiencing this or it happens, just remember about this video and maybe you'll find the solution. Now I want to show the final images uh, using the dual fi band filter and also the astro filter for the pleaty. So I am going to show the stack image and the edited Amos. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that this was helpful or it will be helpful maybe one day for you and I am going to see you in the next few days.